What is up guys? Today is July 8th, which means yesterday was 7's day and I actually never got a chance to even take the 7 out of the garage since I was working all day yesterday. So today I just want to make a quick little video over at my T2 1988 RX-7. So I can't even lie to you guys, for the past two and a half months since I've owned the car, I've actually been trying to stay as far away as possible from driving the car or just working on the car in general because I know once that happens I will just start steamrolling modifications will start coming in and there's just a few things that I really want to get dialed and buckled down on the GTI before I make the transition to starting this build so and we'll get there I'll let y'all know what's happening there but majority of the content for this channel will definitely come from the RX-7 let's get the hood popped and I'll show y'all everything I've seen so far Right, so I figured before we get to the engine bay, I'd show y'all a little bit of the interior of the car. Give you an idea for how clean the car really is. Other than this tear right here in the driver's seat, nothing's really too terrible. I mean, dash is still intact, still has the hatch cover back here. I mean, carpet's still clean, everything about it's still pretty nice. Yeah, it still has the OEM radio. I mean, I love it, man. It's definitely a good pickup. I'd definitely need to hit it with a vacuum, but other than that, I'd say it's pretty solid all around. I guess you can get in there, but it also has uh, drilled and slotted rotors back there, which is actually very nice. And there she blows, no V8 swap. Yeah, um, so it's the original 13B that the car actually came with. I had 138,000 miles when I made the purchase. Probably at 139,000. I've easily put a thousand miles on the car since I bought it in about two and a half months. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna start from the front and then we'll move our way to the back. Um, start pointing out things that I see that definitely didn't come stock with the car. So, gonna go first with the Koyo Red aluminum radiator. That thing's been awesome. I uh, haven't had any cooling issues with the car since I purchased it, which is definitely great. Um, two main problems with these cars are fuel and keeping it cool, so definitely one problem out of the way for now. Uh, so still rocking the stock turbo down there, but from the stock turbo you see the Cork Sport turbo inlet duct. Then you have your intake coming from it right there. I'm pretty sure that's just your original K&R, K&H, Canon, one of the two, uh, I forget, forgive me. And then we have the... As all you fanboys know, the super sequential HKS blow off valve. I guess that's pretty cool. It also has a Gretti, let's see if I can get it focus. Gretti electric boost controller, cork sport strut bar. So, the last aftermarket mod that I've seen in the engine bay would definitely have to be these RC injectors. Um, not sure exactly on the size. I just know for a fact that for the turbo, the turbo's pushing about 10 psi, so for the turbo to be able to be pushing what it's pushing it needs these aftermarket injectors um, but definitely from what I can tell and the mods that have been done this car was definitely cared for um, the guy before me who owned this car knew what he was doing and same with this vehicle as well I bought this thing bone stock but it was so taken care of the car the condition that I got the car in was immaculate I couldn't complain about anything I can almost say the same thing for this RX-7 as well. I'm super excited to have these in the garage. So last but not least would definitely have to be this uh, racing beat exhaust, the dual exhaust. The only issue that I have with the dual is that from where it turns into a white pipe, it actually, the diameter changes. It turns into a two and a half instead of three inches all the way. And as with turbo vehicles, you need as much airflow as possible. So three inches all the way would be more ideal than having it go from three inches to a random two and a half somewhere in the end. Although it may not make that big of a difference just for me and my my uh, peace of mind, I definitely want to get that changed as soon as possible. And the last thing that I actually want to say about this video today is just going to be that overall I bought this car as a learning process, right? So. This is my second RX-7, first turbo. Um, pretty much, I just I bought this vehicle to learn. Some of this stuff I didn't do all myself, like coilovers, I had to take that to a shop. 
Uh, but everything with this vehicle will be done by me for the most part. Uh, if I do need a little bit of a mechanic's help, I will have somebody stopping by here. But I really want this to be a garage build. I want this to be my baby. So I got to the outro of the video, or to the end of the video, and I noticed that I... Uh, so I got to the end of the video and noticed that I didn't... So I got to the end of the video and noticed that I didn't film an outro. So I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of insight on the goals for the build and really what the purpose of this build is going to be. I tried to do this four years ago and it didn't work out and I'll give you backstory on that later. But I feel like I'm in a position now where this, this could definitely work. I can make this work. I said in the video earlier that I'd had another RX-7 before this. It was a NA. 86 S4. Oh, that was a Yes! Like I was saying earlier about this car, to learn. It's gonna be a garage build. I solely. If there's gonna be somebody working on it, I wanna be there with them working on it and learning at the same time. Uh, is trying to document and I understand that it's, it's gonna be really difficult with balancing the whole doc documenting and learning but I'm gonna try and do my best because hopefully I don't know maybe this could help some of you guys out there in the future also I think it'd be really dope to look back three or four years from now and see you know how little I knew and and the transition and the progression that I've made in that time so I mean, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. Uh, just so happens that everything on the GTI has been done for quite a while now, so I didn't really have content. And now this car really allows me to uh, get content and push it out there. Car goals, definitely. So the purpose for the build, it's going to be... I want this RX-7 to be more or less for the twists and turns, back road driving. First mods are definitely, all my first mods will definitely be suspension mods. So we're talking wheels, tires, uh, coilovers, sway bar. And I think that will wrap it up there, but all within that we're probably talking just about seven, eight thousand dollars just there. And that's pretty much what I have into the GTI, so we're speaking in just that. So I'm, I don't know, super excited about all of this. I know it's not going to be cheap, but it's definitely going to be fun. And hopefully you guys get some enjoyment out of and some enjoyment and entertainment out of watching this whole process. And uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Next video will probably be something like RX-7 versus the GTI, or just if, let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see more GTI content, if you want to see RX-7 content, if you'd prefer me to never ramble ever again, put it down there in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is my first video ever, and uh, this is going to be, I'm so excited. So excited. I got ADD up in this bitch. What's up?